ask Kirby Smart on Tuesday had nothing to do with something actually on the field. The preseason polls, Saban and Alabama reaching a contract extension worth $93.6 million and has him regaining the top spot among highest paid head coaches. That one-year extension pushes his contract through the 29th season and pays him more than $90 million over the next eight years. With that new contract, we're talking about $10.7 million this year. Prior to incentives, pushes that salary number past Kirby Smart's $10.25 million salary. All in all, the new contract will pay him an average of $11.7 million per season. Both Saban and Smart winning the last two national championships. Both Bama and Ugga will not participate in Week 0, but there's a handful of games to bet on, and we welcome back the czar of the playbook, Sportsline's own Emery Hunt. Emery, great to be with you once again. You selected a handful of games, so let's start with Nevada laying nine. New Mexico State with a total of 50 and a half. What's the play here? The players laying those points with Nevada, and the good part about what they're bringing to the table, yes, they're breaking in a new coach. They lost a lot of key players, guys that are now in the NFL. You know, the best wide receiver in the NFL, Romeo Dobbs, is now playing with the Packers, uh, according to Twitter. But they do have two cornerstone pieces back for first-year head coach Ken Wilson that's running back to Ottawa and also defensive lineman Dom Jackson. Jackson can play across the front. He's very disruptive. He's had, He has a weird uh, body type. Six feet, 298. He could be a nose guard. He could be a five tech. He could be a three tech. But those two cornerstone pieces, I feel like, gives them a bit of a chance, especially against New Mexico State. So I'm laying those points with the Wolf Pack. All right. You're going to lay the nine. You're going to lay it with confidence. Next up, Charlotte catching a touchdown against FAU. The total at 59 in that game with Florida Atlantic. So are you taking the home team or are you grabbing points in this situation? I am taking the home team. I love Florida Atlantic. Just how they are built they they play very good sound fundamental defense but they return eight guys eight starters on on offense nikosi perry the quarterback plays efficient football they run the football really well they're efficient in the passing game and they play good sound fundamental defense like i mentioned earlier so with all of that being a backdrop charlotte's offensive and defensive line is a bit of a question mark in my opinion i do like chris reynolds the, the quarterback but can they hold their own at the point of attack i don't think so so i'm laying those points uh, with the Owls. All right, you're going to lay the Owls there. This next game has a big number. It's almost four touchdowns, but we'll call it 27. That's what UConn is catching against Utah State, that total set at 60. Uh, what do you like in this one? I like blue, number one. There's a lot of blue in this <laughs> ballgame. Plenty of that. Uh, but play the blue. But here's the thing. UConn will be better this year under Jim Moore. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? All the nice things because there's the butt coming in here. But <laughs> They face a very tough opponent in week zero in Utah State. Last year, I thought Utah State was a year away, and they overachieved last year and went 11-3. and three. Now you look at what they do well. They beat you up up front with the offensive line. They beat you up on defense with their defensive front. Logan Bonner, the quarterback, should have another phenomenal season uh, with Blake Anderson. So this is the year that I thought they would take the next step. But they're going to take an even bigger step. So lay those 27 points, that big number, with the Aggies. Again, this was a team I thought last year would have been sort of, you know, inconsistent, but building toward 2022. Well, 11 and three, now going into 2022 with an experienced roster. I like the Aggies. By the way, not that I'm ever going to dispute you and your knowledge and everything, but are are you not scared because they got Bama the week after that? That 27 points, they're going to go up big and then call the the horses off there. What, what do you think about the chances of that in a game against UConn? Everything that you just talked about. Let's say they call the dogs off on UConn. They pull Logan Bonner and they pull a lot of the starters. They're still playing UConn. So <laughs> they still have enough to cover. And plus, let's keep in mind, their backup quarterback was one of the star quarterbacks at Wyoming last year. He transferred over to Utah State. So it's not like they're going from Logan Bonner to some to, to me out there. They're going to another excellent quarterback. And so I feel for UConn in this game because Utah State is now deep. Remember, I said Last year, they overachieved, but you factor that into this season, they have a ton of depth. So I like the Aggies regardless of the big number. All right, love that play. All right, Wyoming catching 10 or 11, depending on where you're shopping around right now, against Illinois. Uh, what do you make of this game? Do you like the line? Are you going with the pokes here? Yeah, and here's the thing. I feel like all offseason, it's been Kirk Cousins is going to take a, a next step forward. It's going to be the use year again. You know, uh, <laughs> Texas is back. And everybody's buying Illinois right now. I'm like, yo, what did we see last year from Illinois to warrant this level of confidence? And they're facing a very pesky team in Wyoming. Craig Bowl has been there nine years. It seems like 
it's only been a couple of seasons because all we remember him doing is winning national championships at North Dakota State. So with the way Wyoming has built their defensive line, yes, they lose a lot to the transfer portal, but they got some guys in as well. And they also developed some of their younger guys and how they're able to run the football. They have a dual threat at quarterback. So for me, this is a, a tough challenge for an Illinois team that you still have to wonder, can they stop the run? If they can't stop the run, they're facing uh, two excellent guys and let's say quarterback and also the running back for Wyoming behind a very stable offensive line. This is a tough matchup. 10 points is a lot, in my opinion, for an opener. You're giving Craig Bowl and his coach team a full offseason of practice for Illinois. Take the Wyoming Cowboys in the points here. All right, if this is your first time with an Emory Hunt segment, first welcome. And then secondly, FCS is his jam, and we got Howard and the Bison, Alabama State and the Hornets. Now, you're going with a game so deep in the cuts, Emory. Caesar's not even offering at the time, but let's just call it uh, at, at six. So who are you backing this weekend in this game? Yeah, Emory Hunt Sportsbook is offering <laughs> it at minus six, Alabama State. And the reason why, there's an NFL prospect on Alabama State you want to keep an eye on, and he leads – what is a very experienced and talented group in the secondary. Keenan Isaac is a fun, phenomenal talent at corner. He's the one that's going to draw the scouts there. And it's a great matchup. If you like styles that make fights, you look at Howard's passing game, experienced group of receivers, solid quarterback in Quentin Williams. But what I worry about the Bison is the fact that they can't protect up front. They gave up 29 sacks last season. Alabama State's defensive line has been a cornerstone for this program. Yes, they're breaking in a new head coach, Eddie Robinson Jr., not related to the Eddie Robinson uh, that we know, the legendary coach, but he played in the NFL uh, for the Tennessee Titans. He inherits a very good defense led by an NFL prospect at corner. I think what we'll see is a slow choke out for uh, the Bison by the Hornets. I do like Alabama State, so lay those points in the MEAC Swag Challenge. Love that. All right, Emory. Great catching up with you. By the way, Brandon says, stop big timing us, bro. Come on back. Come on back, Deacon. Hey, answer y'all phone. Answer Skype when I call it. <laughs> we will. And there's other methods than just email. All we right. Got Twitter. Emory, joining us. We got Instagram. I don't want to hear it, Mr. Uh, the Week Zero Picks recap. We're back in Nevada, FAU, Utah State, Wyoming, and Alabama State, FCS. Good luck finding that one. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.